This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your brand. Excuse me, um, are you from Architectural Digest? I have an apartment in Paris. I'm gonna show it to you. Do, do you wanna see my Parisian apartment? Come with me. No, come on. It'll, it'll be great, come on. Please come. Come, come. Come see my Parisian apartment, come. Bonjour, Architectural Digest. Bienvenue chez Lauren. I'm Lauren. This is my Parisian studio. I am located in the 9th arrondissement. As you see, um, it is a studio, and at my core, I chose a studio because I wanted to humble myself. Yes, I could have gotten an eight-room penthouse apartment, I could have gotten the Palace of Versailles, but I chose a studio because at my core, I am a simple woman. Come over here to my exercise room. This is my exercise bike where I train for the Tour de France every single day at 12.30 a.m. I train, it takes me about 14 minutes to ride the entirety of the Tour de France. Not many people in the athletics industry know of me, but I am a cyclist at heart. As you see, this is a vintage poster of the Tour de France. This is also another um, portrait by my favorite artist. It's not a portrait, it's a painting by my favorite artist. A lot of beauty and awe in this single painting. And I put it here because my neighbors over there, if they're having a bad day, they could just look through my window and see this painting and feel better. It's because I'm a giver. Come over here. All the way over here. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Uh, this is my gallery wall. I actually put a lot of pride into it. It's my favorite part of the apartment. This huge apartment is my favorite part. This is a replica of a painting that was in my New York Airbnb, if you've seen my New York vlog. It has a lot of meaning behind it. My friend Hugo made a replica. This one, that is literally me, Mark Hernandez. He painted that painting and this painting for me, for my apartment. and. He's one of my favorite artists ever. He's super talented. On Matisse, the peonies, flowers are always nice. They bring a nice, beautiful spring vibe into the apartment when it's dark and cold and depressing. And this is my lover, Harry Styles. Um, he's actually using the restroom right now in my bathroom, so we won't disturb him. Come over here. Oh, it's a mushroom. No, it's a candle. Right. This is a book that my mom got me, Timeless Paris. It has all cool places to go to that are timeless, I guess, and in Paris. My pride, my bookshelf. It's not really a bookshelf, it's more so a trinket shelf. I am a ceramic connoisseur. I make ceramics, some of them are not so good. Here's a little vase thingy I made with a little leaf in it. I think it's nice. A vintage dagger. In case anybody ever um, breaks into my apartment, I'll just run over here. It even says Paris on it. Have you ever seen a more beautiful fig? Probably not. This is a ceramic fig that I got in Avignon, France, this past summer. Here we have another dagger that I got from my Moroccan dagger plug on Etsy. He makes nice little daggers. So I got me and my brother and sister matching daggers. I love a dagger. Two homemade teacups that I made. Have I ever drank out of them? No. Will I ever drink out of them? No. They're solely for decoration, but I kind of like them. Here we have my ring collection in another beautiful piece by a woman named Min Singer, who is a ceramicist. I love rings. To me, they're timeless little pieces that will last forever, and I will give them to my cat because I probably won't have kids. My neighbor Totoro music box. That's right, you heard that right. This is kind of my movie section because I love movies. I have my Kill Bill matches, uh, my A24 member card. I have my BTS K-pop collection because I do love BTS. They are my saviors and my BFFs. Um, we have this cool thing that I got at the Cinematheque Francais. It's a little booklet. Cool as fuck. All right, come on Architectural Digest. Come on, Architectural Digest. <laughs>
Come on, Architectural Digest. Sorry, English is my second language. Come over here to the, to the kitchen. Welcome to the kitchen. This table, there's a story behind this table. There's meaning behind this table. Have you ever heard of Beyonce? Architectural Digest, have you? Right. Beachella, Beyonce's Coachella performance. This was the wood that served as the infrastructure for her stage. Without this wood, there would have been no Beachella. So she actually gifted this to me. She said, oh my God, they're tearing down the Beachella stage. I have to do something with this wood. So she gifted me the wood and I commissioned someone to make a table out of it. It's good, it's sturdy wood. There's a lot of history and meaning behind it and I love it for that reason. These green velvet chairs are my favorite part of the entire apartment. I just love the style. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. And they're, they're very like, the back goes back, they're comfortable, they like move with you, which I like. They're not too like hard. And as someone with not very big of an ass, it's nice to have a soft chair and not a hard one because girl, my ass gets tired, it gets pain when I sit on hard chairs. Come over here to the other side of the kitchen. Here we have my one pan that I use to make everything. It's a bit scratched because I refuse to use any of these actual utensils and I just use a fork to cook. Um, I also make coffee in this, tea, uh, matcha, you know, any type of food. I've made pizza in it one time, ratatouille. Right there. Yeah, that's basically it. We have my snack cabinet and um, cups and dishes. Really interesting stuff. And of course my fridge. Oh my goodness, how did I forget? This tile is from Portugal. It is handmade Portuguese and it's from when I visited Porto. I got it at the airport and I love it because it adds just a delicious pop of color and I'm hoping to get a bunch of them in the future. Collect them as I go. The thing about Paris is that you can go to a grocery store and buy a divine bottle of vin for three euro. And that's exactly what I do all the time. After a long day of hard work, doing absolutely the bare minimum, I come home and I enjoy a glass of that. Absolutely. Come over here. Here we have the bedroom. You know what happens here. Harry Styles, Harry Styles knows what happens here. Um, nothing happens here. This is where I sleep. Solely, I sleep here. I have this beautiful duvet. Um, love it so much. It also matches the green tone that we have going on in the apartment. I have my Lady Diana. Also got this by The Sun. It's a it's an old magazine. Everyday Architectural Digest. This is what I do. I wake up and Lady Diana is looking at me. And it's a beautiful thing to wake up to such a such an icon, a style icon, watching over me while I sleep and when I'm awake. Here we have my bag display. The thing about this apartment is that it does have minimal space so I had to do what I could and command hooks came in such handy so I used them to kind of make a little wall display of all my uh, <laughs> sorry of all of my bags. This is my favorite one. It's a vintage Gucci. Right. Right. Lastly Architectural Digest. This is I guess just part of my bedroom. I have a nice little mirror so I could see my feet. Um, because it it um, doesn't hang high enough to, for me to see my full body. And this is my little planty baby. This is my plant. She brings me so much joy. I named her Gaia. Gaia is the Greek goddess of earth and all things nature. And this is literally nature, so it's a perfect name for her. Yeah, I love her. She brings a pop of life into this apartment when I'm feeling dead inside. Well, actually, that's about it, Architectural Digest. Um, I'm not going to show you the bathroom because, once again, Harry Styles is in there, and you know what happens in the bathroom. Not much. Not much. Here we have my shoe rack. It's a rack where I keep my shoes. That's the apartment. Thank you so much for asking me to do this, um, for coming up to me in Luxembourg Gardens and saying, oh my god, it looks like you have such a beautiful apartment. Will you please give us a tour? It means a lot to me that you sense that just by looking at me. It finally feels very cozy and like a little home, and that means a lot to me. If there's one thing that you should put care into is the place that you live, because you're there a lot. Well, at least I'm there a lot. So, this is my apartment. Thank you. Now leave, leave.
Harry Styles and I have some things to do. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir, merci. Merci, au revoir. Hi, I'm currently working on building an unreleased, unannounced little website using Squarespace, the sponsor of this week's video. In case you didn't know, Squarespace is a place where you can go online and build your brand, whether that be through a website, a portfolio, a blog, an art gallery, you name it. I've released merch four different times in the past and each different time have created a new website using Squarespace. And I'm currently working on something that's quite different from anything I've done in the past. And let me tell you, the possibilities are endless. I personally love their analytics tool where you're able to gain insight on your audience's geography, time spent on the website, most visited pages. It's very interesting, but also helpful as a brand owner if you will. Your social media accounts can be linked so your social content can be shared on the website, but your audience can also share it elsewhere as well. With Squarespace, you're able to create a community on your website, especially if you're into blogging. They have a wonderful commenting feature where you're able to create threads, reply, and if you're into blogging, you can categorize, plan, and schedule posts for the future. Always think one step ahead. So if you've had the inkling to create a unique website that truly represents you, Now's the time to create, baby. Starting today, you can go to squarespace.com slash Lauren Brodoff to get 10% off your first purchase. Give it a go. I promise you won't regret it. The possibilities are truly endless. Let me tell you. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Burn. You really start to feel it. The heart, the heart starts to race. 